six years ago, a group of us decided that to try and uphold the memory of Thomas More, but also to prepare the next generation of Christian leaders. And Thomas is here, and he doesn't know about this. Yeah, he's really. about to receive the first new Thomas More Award. If I, if I could, uh, it's, it's always difficult to follow Lord Alton, given that he speaks English and I don't. <laughs> Tom Abraham is of Lebanese descent, a proud American who's worked very hard in his life, who's worked very hard as well to use the resources that his family has worked very hard to do innumerable good works throughout the United States. Tom and I met a few years ago. Uh, he was a principal in helping underwrite the In Defense of Christians organization, which is the first organization in the United States to create a platform around the idea of protecting persecuted Christians in the Middle East. I met Tom through that, learned that he is highly involved in helping wounded warriors, American veterans who have been hurt in battle and who have many, many scars psychologically and physically. He's an active businessman and I know he's involved in innumerable charities that uh, I'm not aware of. In fact, last year when we met the Holy Father, he made me hold a painting that he had brought to the Holy Father because he's always engaged in some new initiative because he's full of energy and full of life and he's using his talent toward the greater good and for God's greater glory. So, Tom, thank you. For that. Well, you know, if I knew about this, I would have brought my big camera <laughs> and my video team, you know. And uh, I would have had my choreographer making sure the lighting was right. You know, my father was Anthony Abraham, and my mother was Genevieve. And they came to Lebanon on vacation on their second honeymoon. And they went to an orphanage, and they left with two children. And I was one of them. So I really believe that I've been blessed. My father taught me something really important. He said, you have to have faith and you have to have love of your country and your heritage. And my father was one of those original guys with Danny Thomas who founded St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And it was about Lebanese Americans giving back to America. And they gave America the greatest gift ever, the leading catastrophic research institution in the world today. And my father said to me one time when I asked him, I said, Dad, why are you building all these different churches? The Maronites, the Malkites, the Roman Catholic churches in, in the United States. Why are you giving all this money? And he turned around and he said to me, one simple thing. It's about our heritage. If you don't have a church, you don't have a way for families to come together. You don't have a way for families to get married. You don't have a way for our heritage and our traditions to be seen by the world. And so by having our churches in our country, it's an example how we can show the rest of the world or our communities who we are as people, as Lebanese Americans, and what we stand for and what we believe in. This organization I came, uh, Lord Alton really is the one who impressed upon me the importance of what he's doing. And I went to London and I visited the university And when I left with my wife, we said, we're going to do something here. And the amazing thing is I found out that they don't usually put the American flag up for somebody showing up at this university, <laughs> and they did for us. But in essence, what I want to say to you is I feel very blessed in my life. I've been surrounded by beautiful people, great opportunities, and my father was always humble. And it's not about the money that you have. It's about what you do with the money that you have and how do you do it. If you do it with an open heart, looking for nothing, then God will bless you. I believe if you do it for the reward on earth, he knows what you're all about. So I humbly accept this, really. Lord Alton, you're amazing. I would have never allowed you to do this. <laughs> and that's, and, and you know, but anyway, I just want to say thank you so much, Lord Alton. And, and God bless you. God bless this organization and everybody that supports it. You're all here for the right reasons. We're all here for the right reasons. And that is to make a difference in other people's lives. Thank you so much.